Hello gang, Dr. David Powers here, and guess what? We are here for another Karen unboxing. It's a weird face, man. All right, so me and Wee Girl walked to the mailbox today, and also Wee Man, and uh, picked up this, well, we called it a Karen box, but truthfully it's not. It's a Karen paper envelope. Mm, not so happy about that, guys. No. But I am still wondering, Karen got sold to Outside Magazine. Did you guys know that? Yeah. And I keep wondering when things are going to be a little different or change. And so, even though it is just a, you know, a jacked up manila envelope, um, the packaging is a little different. There's design on the envelope and everything, so at least it's got a design on it, but it's still not a box. Um, so, I'm still wondering if things are going to change a lot when outside does the full takeover of Karen or not. But, let's open this thing up and see what's inside. You guys ready? Mm-hmm. You ready? Yeah. Boom, let's see. All right, so... All right, looks like everything. No sticker inside, though. And uh, so, you know, a little disappointed with that. You look like yes. the Pope with that on your head. Yeah, I do. There we go. All right, so let's see what's in here. Open up the trusty newsletter in case we have any questions. All right, so first thing, food. I put in a request a while back. And it said, Karen, you always got to have some food in there. We like the food, right? Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? I yes. usually don't share it with you guys. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. So from Patagonia Provisions, we have this is kind of weird. Regenerative organic chili mango solar dried mm. fruit. Now I understand the chili mango part, and of course the organic part and the solar part. But put all this together, I'm not quite sure. So let's read up on it a little bit. It's vegan, of course. One would expect fruit to be vegan. Um, still got to put the package on there for the. Uh, for the people that might get mad about that kind of thing. But uh, let's see what this is. Our chili mango begins with the Rosa, a palm-sized Nicaraguan mango with excellent flavor. Peeled and sliced off the pits, the juicy, drippy mango pieces are laid on racks and dried in solar-powered dehydrators. That's actually kind of cool. We could use some of those here on the farm. Oh, yeah. A drizzle of organic lime juice balances mm. their sweetness. In a dusting of organic chili, a ground Argentinian red pepper called ahi molido, and I probably pronounced that way wrong, <clears throat> adds a subtle mellow heat. In producing this exceptional mango, our partner, Soul Simple, is one of the first food suppliers to earn regenerative organic certification, which is given to companies that restore the health of the soil and protect the welfare of workers and any animals involved in the food's production. A lot of positive change goes into every piece of chili mango. Now, the uh, I'm sure you have to jump through a lot of hoops to get the regenerative organic label, but that actually sounds like what we do here on our farm. Yeah. Um, let's see, we restore the health of the soil, and uh, what were you guys doing earlier? Um, you're, working some, you're working some compost, right? Yeah. And so here on the Midgard Homestead, we... We restore the uh, health of the soil and uh, protect the welfare of the workers. Mm -hmm. You guys feel pretty protected? Yeah. yeah, so I, I went we do outside that too. a lot while they're working. Yeah, and any yeah. animals involved in the food's production. Well, we don't have any animals, just kids. Yeah, uh, but someday, I get some beef. We get some animals and we'll take care of them, right? Yeah. yeah. All right, so one of the things I always like to look for too, and, and which I would expect from Patagonia, huge reputation for environmental friendliness. Um, let's look at the ingredients. That's what I always like to check to see if there's anything like maltodextrin, aspartame, and any of that crap that they throw in there to uh, artificially sweeten or enhance things. So the ingredients, mango, lime juice, chili. That is it. That is it. I'm looking forward to trying these. I'm a huge mango nut, um, although that doesn't sound right, mango and nut, but uh, spicy mango is just about pure awesome so there you go from patagonia all right next thing we're going to save the best one for last Dad? yes ma'am abishai does have a pet <clears throat> rabbit oh, oh well yeah. yeah we do have a pet rabbit but we don't use yeah. him for farm work though do we no. 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 all right next thing the next thing is from sunny sock it is uh the goggle sock from sunny sock an entirely new take on the sunglass case the perfect balance between a hard shell and a soft shell case <laughs> The ultra protective while remaining lightweight oh, yeah. and foldable. Mm -hmm. They've even added a built-in lens cleaning cloth, a secure clasp closure, and a carabiner clip 
so you can easily access your sunglasses on any adventure. Hmm. Easily access your sunglasses. Usually I can find mine pretty easy because they're always on top of my head. Oh, yeah. yeah, but this Once is pretty cool because you want to put them in one of these when you throw them in your bag because I've mm. done that without this oh, and yeah. uh, <clears throat> they always get pretty scratched up. <clears throat> so, did we also mention that this is made of RPET or RPET, a fabric made from recycled plastic water bottles? Now, that's kind of cool. This is made from old water bottles, probably one that you guys drunk out of. All right, so oh, I love these metal closures like this. Oh, I dropped it. Here we go. So, it's got the metal closure. Pretty nice. Oh, some uh, some information in there, and uh, integrated cleaning cloth on the inside, nice and soft. Look at that. There's the cleaning cloth. That's pretty cool. Oh, look. I want to feel it. Oh, feel it. Go ahead. My lens. Oh, yeah. your lenses will love you, and they will. And uh, years and years ago, I finally made the executive decision to uh, not buy cheap sunglasses anymore. Um, instead of buying multiple multiple pairs of five and ten dollar sunglasses at the store. I started buying Oakleys, and uh, we're talking like $200 a pop. Um, a huge amount of money for a pair of sunglasses, but I protect them. I'll keep those suckers safe. I don't let my kids touch them, ever. And uh, my Oakleys will last me five to ten years, so well worth the money. Um, but this is pretty cool, and it uh, goes in there, foldable. Oh, that's pretty awesome. I like that. And apparently, looking at the information, they've got a different design, so lots of designs out there that you can get. And uh, here you go, buddy. You want to look at the picture? And I uh, need to open this. Maybe, maybe. All right, let's see if there's anything else cool in here. All right, so we've got all that in French. We've got, uh, uh, looks like German on the inside and Spanish. And so let's look at the English side. And uh, Sunny Sock Protective Eyewear Pouch. Oh, just had another kid turn up. Uh, made from recycled plastic bottles. And even this is printed on 100% recycled paper, which we love recycling, right, guys? Yes. Right, yeah, I'm always having a fussy offer throwing stuff in the trash. Please yeah. recycle after purchase. Now, does this go in paper or cardboard? It's brown. Cardboard. It goes in the cardboard because it's brown, right? Mm -hmm. All right, cool. The sunny sock. All right, and the best thing. I wanna we saved I wanna open this. the best thing for last. Let me show it to him first, and you can open it, okay? This I thought was pretty cool. Check that out. It's the Eco Vessel Wonderwear Reusable Utensil Set comes with all this. I'll show them to you in just a second. Six piece stainless steel utensil set with carrying case. This is pretty snazzy. I like this. All right, so go ahead and open that up, buddy. You can tear the stuff if you need to. Oh, yeah, you just tearing right into that, huh? Yeah. All right, you, you can probably, oh, there we go, okay. All right, here, let's put that to the side. And, um, yeah, you want to open that part? Open it? Yeah, go ahead, man. All right, so let's see what's in there. You go ahead and unzip that. Um, let's see, Eco Vessel's new utensil set will go anywhere your adventures take you. Um, their premium food grade stainless steel utensil set includes a fork, spoon, knife, Whoa. chopsticks, straw with silicone tip, and Whoa. straw cleaning brush. That's yeah. pretty cool. Whoa. Yeah, this right here. I carry reusable silverware anytime I, I travel. Right and uh, usually I've got a big plastic um, sport yeah. kind of thing. And so this is going to oh, be my wow. new go-to travel silverware set. So let's hold it up so they can see it. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. Nice stainless can steel. I hold it and and uh, here, let's uh, oh, look at it. You got a fork. Oh. You got chopsticks. 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 We got a knife. A knife. You just straightened it on one Oh, time. and spoon. He had a little kid's butter knife spoon. in his thing the other day. His kid's silverware. Wasn't even, didn't have the least bit of serration on it. The thing would even cut steamed broccoli. Oh, um, a all right, so straw? Let me see his man. Let's see his spoon, fork. Uh, there's the straw. Show it to him. Show it to him. And a straw Chopsticks. cleaning brush. Because you don't want to drink out of your metal straw after you use it and have solid things come out that feel like pudding in your mouth. If that ever happens, it's yeah, gross. You need to clean your straw with the cleaning brush. All right, this is a nice, though, nice little padded case and everything. So. Yeah, go ahead and put them in. This is going to go in my kit. Can and so, guys, this uh, Karen box for this month, what do we think? Rated on a 1 to 10. Mm, I'll, I'll say a 9. Can you give it a 9? No sticker. Oh, uh, see that, Karen? In. If you guys put a sticker here, she would have given you a 10. Yes. Yeah, awesome, awesome. What about you, man? Is this a good one or a bad one? Mm -hmm. I think it's a good one. It's a good one. Yeah, I would say this is a good but one. But I would put some of those. Oh, it'll things. be your turn. Hand her one more thing and then you can finish. All right, so while they find it, they finished reassembling my Not silverware two. kit or fighting over it. I'm kind of caught in the middle between a, a fork and a hard place. Um, 
I'm going to go ahead and sign out. So I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Um, check the link below and you'll see if you want to get your own Karen. Um, you can help feed my kids by uh, using my affiliate link below. And, um, you know, I hope you enjoy them. If you like getting outside and like trying new gear and stuff, it is pretty cool. Uh, for these kids, once a month, it's like pulling Christmas out of the mailbox, right? All right. Y'all yeah. take care.